transit, transportation, and traffic. Those are topics guaranteed to start a conversation. I always look for the folks behind the statistics and the numbers. Many of our stories start right here on the sidewalk, at the bus stop, or the subway platform. Speed, waiting a little longer, a lot more delays. Let me tell you, uh, when it's good, it's good. But when it's bad, it's very bad. Safety during our commute has been a big concern this year. More police and healthcare staff are working in the transit system. Ridership has been slowly returning, and we demand a safe and reliable trip. A lot of improvement projects are also in the works, from a new look inside and outside Penn Station to the opening of Grand Central Madison, which brings the Long Island Railroad to Midtown. Then there are the new elevators and escalators. This thing here needs to be fixed. Riders always have something to say. The people of the city are as original and unique as the neighborhoods in the five boroughs. From underground to high above the city at the summit, a hot tourist destination in one of the new Midtown skyscrapers. You feel like you're top of the world when you come here. Take a look around. The best stories come from neighbors and my fellow riders, not only on the train. Let's go for a spin around Brooklyn Bridge Park. At James Carousel, they like to say that being here puts people in a good mood. That music keeps three-year-old Elia dancing, even after her turn in the saddle. I saw this horse, and I was like, I wanted to ride it. Experiences are everywhere in the city. Go for a walk or immerse yourself inside one of the exhibits that surrounds visitors with art. Monet's garden is in Lower Manhattan, modeled after the real one in France. Amazing. First I'm saying, oh my God, how did they do this? All kinds of things are waiting to be discovered on every block. Small businesses are the engine of the region. Restaurants employ thousands of people in the city. The debate about outdoor dining will continue into next year. City officials say it's here to stay, but they're still working on final plans for structures and sidewalk cafes. It's really nice to be able to walk around and meet your neighbors, uh, work on collaborative projects, and then just like have somewhere to be. Family-owned shops, bodegas, and corner stores give neighborhoods character, and they've been struggling to stay in business since COVID. Unoppressive, non-imperialist bargain books had been in the village for 30 years. We sell all kinds of important books, spiritual and otherwise, and, and we have an enormous impact on so many young people, old people, middle-aged people. It's just extraordinary. It's just so much fun to get that that response that we have all day long. It's been a community gathering place, a tourist destination, a meeting room for action and education. But the current storyline is one that's become all too familiar. The real problem is that the system is rigged in such a way that if you're not a giant chain, you're not just, you can't, you can't pay these rents. It's just another piece of community in the neighborhood that uh, I hope he relocates and uh, somewhere nearby so he'll be on my walking path. Our favorite and familiar places provide a sense of community and home. There's a lot to explore. History is waiting on every block. Built in 1906, the Morgan Library on Madison Avenue completed a $13 million renovation this year, inside and out. We're used to the lions at the library, so those are the famous ones. Well, these are the earlier ones. It's the same designer, it's the same sculptor who went to the Bronx Zoo that had just been opened to look at animals. They were thoroughly restored, and in all honesty, one of them had lost an ear, so we replaced that, and they looked, in a way, good as new. Everything now can be seen closer, and that seems to me a really important part of our mission. Sporting events and fans provide all kinds of excitement and unforgettable moments. The St. Peter's basketball team from Jersey City captivated the country. Their underdog story took them to the semifinals of the NCAA tournament, the first 15th seeded team to get that far. I'm rooting for them too, like it's my school. I believe in them since day one. The Yankees had a great season, almost went all the way. As for the Mets, well, you know, there's always next year. We'll see what happens. And that's what makes it a, a sport. That's what makes it interesting. Statistics are important, but you also have to have the feel for the game. All creatures are covered. Guide dogs get trained inside the terminals of JFK. The Port Authority takes care of the turtles around the runway. The city and all its residents are constantly in motion, always on the move. Talk about the traffic. Why am I here in New York City? Born and raised. Alicia has a few comments for the record. New York City literally is the only place that is just that, New York City. You can be as 
grumpy as you like, and it's gonna be okay, because that's just how this is how it is in New York. We're not mean, we're not rude, we're not nasty, but we just New Yorkers. Since we're celebrating, let's send more good wishes to Ray Alvarez at Ray's Candy Store in the East Village. He's turning 90 years old, and his iconic shop on Avenue A is almost 50 years old. Customers and a crowdfunding campaign have saved it again from closing. Now that's a New York story. I couldn't live no place else. Uh, even in uh, 1965, I went uh, vacation in California. I didn't like it. I like the old east side. I'm looking forward to meeting more of our neighbors in 2023 and finding out more interesting things about this complicated place that we call home. I'll see you on the subway and the bus. I'm Greg Mocker, Pixel 11 News.